Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I really appreciate that you spent time to watch my video and I hope you will enjoy this one. Today's turning is a spalted silver birch uh, lock I have and I just uh, made it round with the chainsaw and I hope it's not too punky to turn. I started to remove some of the bark. It was pretty thick and I didn't want it to hit my arms or fingers or anything so I took that off. It was not terrible out of balance, but I started slow at 350 RPM. And I used my 16mm or 518 spool guard to round it off at the beginning. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get a notification for future videos and I hope you will throw me a comment in the comment section that really help my channel to grow and help me make more videos in the future. I got the ball fairly round and I changed to my half inch ball count. That is the tool I absolutely use the most. And I use this to shape the outside of the ball and make the foot and the final shape. I'm just measuring the diameter of the bowl and I use the rule of or guideline of one third that says that the diameter of the bowl then you need to make the foot around one third and you will get a good balance between the foot and the bowl itself. I've tried to break that rule a lot of time and came back to at the end to the one third rule because it simply looked the best in most situations. I decided to make a mortise on the bowl and at the same time establish the foot and finish uh, turn that.
I'm using my skew to make the angle for the 100 millimeter jaws on the Novichok. And as you saw, I was a little bit too aggressive, so I got a little catch, but it luckily didn't ruin anything on the foot. I sanded the outside from grid 120 to grid 400 and luckily the grain on the bowl was not too punky to get a good cut on the outside. I decided to drill out the core of the bowl to the depth I wanted to the bowl to be and to make the hollow ring a little bit easier. My plan was to make the wall thickness around 1cm to maybe 13mm, that is a little, little under half inch. Around halfway through the hollowing there was a nut inside the bowl. It was not visible from the outside of the lock and it was pretty hard on the bowl guard so I had to sharpen a couple of times during this uh, hollowing.
and here I'm removing some tool marks with the negative rake scraper. And the final cut to complete the bow before I started the sanding. I sanded the bowl from grid 120 to 400 at the inside and then I used cellulose sanding sealer from Hamsachine, abrasive paste and at the end I gave it some Hamsachine gloss finish wax. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe and hit the notification bell below and comment in the comment section that greatly helped my channel to grow. Have a nice day and stay safe out there.